when you open your 8x8 matrix, inside you'll find our contact information with the usual manual. You'll find your 8x8 matrix inside. And on the side, you'll find the power outlet with four different plugs. You'll also find your IR extender, your brackets, and you'll also find the controller. On your 8x8 matrix, we can see that in the front, you have your LED display, your IR sensor, your input buttons, and your output buttons. When we look in the back, we can find your HDMI inputs, your HDMI outputs, your sound outputs, your IP controller, your RS-232, and your DC 12 volt input. Corresponding with your buttons, the controller follows the same layout with your outputs and your inputs. To install your 8x8 matrix, first we'll install the sound outputs. We'll place four of our televisions into our outputs. Your, the max number of outputs you can have is eight. All right, we'll grab our two sources. We'll place them in our inputs. As you can note, you don't need to have all eight, but you can place a maximum of eight input sources. At this point, we'll grab our power source, making sure you grab the correct international plug, place it in a solid, plug it in. Connect our power source. Make sure to thread it. And we'll turn it on. When operating your 8x8 matrix, okay. you always press your output first and then your inputs. same test will apply when operating the remote control. You always press your output first and then your input. Always make sure to point the controller to the IR sensor. To set up your 8x8 matrix EDID and IP control via RS-232 cable, first you'll need to grab your RS-232 cable and connect it to your 8x8 matrix, then connect it to your PC. Once that is complete, you'll grab your CD-ROM, which is ins uh, conveniently inside your package. You'll open it up, install your 8x8 PC tool. You'll open it up. Give it a second, it might take a few seconds. And this is the screen you will see. First thing you must always do is click search, and it'll search all the ports and which, and which uh, your 8x8 matrix is connected to. I know it's connected to the fifth port, so let's go to port five. We'll click connect, and you'll get a message prompting prompting that all the configuration data was successfully uh, connected. From this screen, you can see all your outputs, one through eight, and then output all. You'll, they'll all be listed one through eight, which will be your input sources. So if you wanna change your output one to import source three, all you gotta do is just click the button 
and it'll change it. It'll, it'll display which input it's under. On the next tab, you'll have your EDID configuration. Right here, you'll see you'll have all eight input HDMI setups, however you want to uh, set it up to. Each mode is different, so you go from 1080p, 4K at 30 res, 4K 60 res, or you can copy which other any other television you have set up. You can pick whichever one you want, and then you just. You can change all your output settings all at the same time by just using your output all and you can click it and it all change it to the same input settings. As you can clearly see all of them changed into setting one. Now we'll go to your EDID configuration tab. Over here, depending on your, what television model and setup, some televisions are able to go up to 4K, some up to 1080p. So in this uh, tab right here, you'll be able to set up each input for the specific television you have. So if the maximum is only 1080p, you can set it up for 1080p and then you apply. On your next tab, your IP configuration, you'll have your IP address setting, your host IP address, your net mask, router IP address, and your MAC address. You also have your D HCP button right here. If you wish to change everything manually, you'll need to push uh, on click your DHCP and then you'll manually input it and then you'll hit save IP configuration. Otherwise, just keep your DHCP and everything will, everything will be set up automatically. Your next tab is your net configuration IP address and then your system configuration. And that's it. To, to operate your 8x8 matrix using your IP control, first you must uh, grab your host IP address. Once you obtain it, you'll open up a internet browser. You'll type in your host ID. Ours is uh, 192.168.1.15 and this is the screen you will see from here you'll be able to control your 8x8 matrix via an internet browser it can be from your phone tablet or anywhere as long as it's connected to your router router network so from here you can connect uh, you can set it up your output source to whatever input source change it all up all eight of them are showing up and if you want to change all eight screens to the same one you have an output all and I'll change all of them to the same input source you want and that's it